Hey, what's up, YouTube? Alright, we're doing the next installment in the Great Crossman build series, and we're going to look at the flat top piston modding. What I've got here on this side is the stock valve and piston, and then on this other side is the flat top valve and flat top piston. So we'll look at the differences between those real quick. And you can see that all they've done is essentially just flattened the edge by sand, cutting it and sanding it and filing it. Polishing that down. So instead of a cone, you have a flat top. Now as for the valve, that's the only change there. For the piston, you have to totally remake the piston. And here you have a concave cup for the stock piston, the flat top piston. It's a totally different design. These come in brass. This one is made out of a Delrin plastic. And it's got O-rings here. Whereas this one doesn't really have an O-ring. The, the cup is flared a little bit. It's made out of a rubber so that it acts as a, a sealant. This particular plastic doesn't seal very well. It's really not even supposed to touch the inside of the tube. So you got to use these O-rings instead. And you want to lube those up with some Pelgun oil. Not a whole lot, but you do want that, those to be well lubed. So that is the difference between the piston and the uh, flat top piston. So we'll no longer need stock piston and valves. We put that to the side. I do have this nail polishing file. And all I've done is I've pulled these uh, pieces of material off that have the uh, sandpaper and the, the grid on them. And when you pull them off, they'll have a little bit of adhesive. So what you can do is take it this is a large paintbrush and then I've just wrapped some paper and duct taped it around the end because it tapers so I need a cylindrical shape that will fit nicely into the tube here. So I've gone through the various grits the coarse grit to the, the fine and you just go like this back and forth you're really just polishing this area right here pretty small area and this is the deburring process so when you push the valve out the valve sits like this and the piston comes down packs the air in like such See how flush that is? And that headspace is what they call that, where these two meet. The less headspace, the more pressure you're going to get in there. So if they fit flush, you're going to get a lot of pressure. So the piston goes back and forth like this when you pump it. Now it has these O-rings, and you're going to be pumping this thousands of times. So if you even have any scratches or burrs or filings in there, those will eventually wear in your O-rings. So you just polish this out. And then we'll lift this up. Try to look down in there. that should be really shiny so that's how we prep our tube to get ready for the actual installation of the flat top piston and valve so that's going to pretty much cover it for this video just explaining what the, the uh, piston flat top piston valve are 
and how to prep your tube to get ready to receive those. And you're basically just going to file that or uh, polish it down, deburr it by using a special tool which you can easily make. And again, you can use sandpaper, but these nail files you get at Walmart for a dollar. They've got four different grits to them from you know a buff to a, a shine. And you don't need anything really coarse. You just want to smooth that out. So that's basically all you're going to do for that. Uh, that's going to be it on this one. We'll start putting this all back together in the assembly video. And then we'll show how these pieces fit together and we'll go through it all there. Uh, make sure to check out the other videos in the series if you're interested in modding and uh, disassembling and reassembling Crossman pistols. Um, appreciate any likes and comments. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.